Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve or to do lab 3.3.11 from DevNet Associate from Cisco and this lab is about using Git and GitHub. So at the beginning Git is necessary for you when you would like to take a part or collaborate in a software project. Before I start you have to know very important thing that there is a git and there is a github so let's take a look for example here on this small and uh, on this slide there is a git this is the git this is totally uh, like separate and this is in your machine so what we are going to do today like almost and uh, like practicing with git what is github github is the one that is you can uh, reach from the internet so this is github as you can see it's on the internet and what is in your machine it is called git okay so let's return back so we are going now to deal with git with git and as you see here we have seven parts the last part which is part number seven is only about integrate like using github or managing or integrating your git from your own machine with github so let's get started part one is the usual part which is about um, starting the virtual machine this one in the background but we already uh, prepared it in the first video from um, this uh, series in part two we need to initialize git so to do this, first let's go to the terminal and then let's type ls to, to check out what are there. So here we have um, like this command line interface and the, as a first point to start your git, uh, you need to like set your information. To set your information, you can put your username and, the, and your email. So from now, I'm directly will use the one that I will use on github from uh, on the internet so i will use my username and i will use my email here in this to be uh, like in my local or in git so i'm using the credentials from github on the git so this one will um, be easier for me to integrate them together so to add my username i can get type git and then config and then global and then user.name and I can put my username between the two quotes and then I can repeat this and I type my email this form then to check my information I can also type git config and then list as you can see here the username is this one and the email now is set to this one Okay, so in the next step, let's make a directory and let's initialize this directory to be uh, like inside um, to prepare it as a git repository. So let's make a new directory. As you can see, this command mk or make directory. And then we can give the name of the directory of this directory like git intro as uh, written in the tutorial and then we need to go to this new directory and here we just need to type git initial or git init and we have a message now says that initialized empty git repository and home div asc git intro dot git okay so so if i will type only ls here i will have nothing but to see the hidden files i can type ls and then with option minus a and as you can see here 
this is the hidden file here is the magic everything what you will modify or you will do in this uh, repository will be written or in this hidden uh, file here dot git so here is the magic so you will be able to read everything uh, related to the git inside um, this file okay so one more thing here we need and to know another which is git status so every time you are making a modification or you are adding new files or modifying a new one of the files there will be like um, can you can know these modifications by type git status so here we can like extract information first one says that I am in a master branch we will talk about the branches very soon till now there is nothing committed and nothing to comment also because the staging or there is nothing let's, let's fix it like this now because we will reach and the second part on the next parts the concept of staging so here what we need to know there is a branch I am in master branch right now and there is nothing to comment and there is nothing like no it's totally like everything uh, like there there are no modifications after okay so let's move forward we already did this and now let's move to part three which is staging and committing a file in a repository so the concept is actually behind these three commands so the first when you make any change or you modify a file or you add a new file as we will do now there is or there are three commands the first one gets status you already know to check this we talked about it to see if there is any uh, modification or to see where uh, are exactly the modifications or which file modified on this case you will only uh, like um, comment this uh, file that um, has been modified recently then we need to put this file into a staging form by using the command git add and after that we can or you can use com the command uh, git commit and then you uh, like commit this file so let's take a now um, let's do this part so we are going to create a file as you can see the file will be in this we will use a code to create a file so with a code we will print this message and then we will direct this message to this file which which is called devasc.txt and then after that we are going to check ls minus li to make sure that the file is there and after that we will type get status to check the uh, modified file or the, the new modification and then we are going to do the staging which is by using git add and then we are going to commit a file okay so let's guess let's do this now so let's create a file make sure that you are under the directory git intro that we made now let's check the file the file is here we can also type ls minus a or la so this is the file here okay so git status or status as you can see here now this is i am on the branch master nothing no commits yet and here there is an interact file and the file the name is git um, sorry devasc.txt okay so let's make the staging which is git add the name of the file and then press enter and then one more time git status and now you can see here now new file is under the staging um, level so now we can commit this file by typing again git commit and then minus m this minus m that allows you to put um, a message and here let's say in this message or we can take this one from here 
says that committing div uh, ASC to begin tracking change. One, I also recommend you that you have to choose very carefully the messages here because it's an indication for you when you would like to check later or someone else to check the pre or the um, like the process under or what happened during this um, um, like staging so I think we have something here okay so it states one more time and we can see here on the branch master nothing to comment working uh, tree clean so here we have only this the message when I'm commenting it's okay it's also acceptable so the message we sent in the beginning not commenting this uh, asc.txt to begin tracking but only this commenting please notice here that each commit has a commit id which um, is actually consists seven characters as you can see here so this is the comment id and here it's also mentioned that each comment has um, identified by unique SHA hash and the first seven characters is the um, full comment um, hash and your comment so here as you can see this is the comment id we will use it when we would like to use the diff command or do, to compare to uh, files in, on the same uh, directory. We can also use uh, git to see the log or to see the comment history and to do this we can use the command git log and you can see here that here we have the uh, comment id or the comet uh, identifier and here we have the se the first seven uh, characters here um, is the comment id which is the same like from this one and include this security sha1 and you can see also here that the author who made this um, comment and when exactly so we can add here one more command which is git log to check history of a file okay so let's move forward and do part four which is modifying a file and tracking the change so in this part we are going to modify this div asc dot text file and then we will follow these commands so after the modification we will check the um, the modification by type git status and then we are going to do the staging and then we are going to comment and then we are going to see the history okay so let's do this and let's modify this file as you can see we are going to append this line to this file and you can see here these are uh, two angle brackets so it means that we are going to modify that to append this line to this file and in the first one we used only one it was directly we created a file but now we don't need to create a file the file is already existed we only need to modify or to append this line to this file so let's paste this one and then I'll ask one more time and then let's check the content of this file and here um, is the file. I am um, I am on my way to pass the Cisco, and then I appended this file, this line here. Okay, so let's see the modification by type the git status, and we can see here now we are we have modified uh, file, and now after the modification, let's do the staging, which is git add. And then we need to commit again minus m, and then we give a message. So let's see what is written here as a message. 
so added additional line one more line okay so here we have again we commented the file and now let's check the history of this repository here you can see again this is the commit id let's check the history by typing git log and you can see here we have now two comments the first one uh, done by this username and this is the commit id and this is the date and this one also done by this username which are which is in the same one and here this is the date okay so what we need to do more we can check the what what uh, what are the modifications or what the what are the difference between these two files so to do this we can use the command get diff here we can this is the message i added recently here okay so we can check the exactly the modifications uh, on on the on the file so we can type git diff and then we put the comment id of the first file and then the comment id of the second file so we know the comment id is the first seven characters Let me put it here, then space, and let's take the second one from here. These are seven. And now let's press enter and let's see here exactly what um, is the modification. So that the modification you can see as it's in this. Um, plus so okay so let's move forward to part five and this part is about branches and merging so when you initially create a git you are by default under the master branch and it is recommended that when you would like to modify a directory or a project you create another branch let's say PR and here to make sure that the original area or the original code is still there without existing without modification and you start to modify the project or the directory under another branch if you like have some problems or something you can delete the branch everything you can return to the original point in the master or if it's successfully done then you can do the git status and then add staging committing and then you return back to the master and then you manage both of them and then you delete the new branch which is the branch you created and then you have now the fresh, the fresh modified version under the master so if you would like to modify a project or directory you will create a new uh, branch you will do the modification you will make the staging you will make the commenting and then you will return back to the master and then you manage both of the branches and then you delete the new branch okay so let's do this and git so to create a new uh, branch you can type git branch and the name of the branch let's say now like fr1 with uh, like feature and then to verify the branches you can use the command get branch as you can see here i have master and i have fr1 and i am currently under the master branch because of this star here and the color is a green so to move the to move to the the new branch which is fr1 i you should you can type you use the command git checkout 
and then the name of the branch. As you can see here, switch to branch one, oh, branch fr1. So let's check again, and now I am currently under the branch fr1. So let's modify the file. Now let's make some modification, and then we will do the staging, and then we are going to uh, comment, and then we merge them. So let's type now a message that says that um, echo this is a modification from the branch one or of our one and then we will append this line to our file dev.txt and then let's see this file and you can see this is the line I just added here and then let's go through our um, steps kit status you can see there is a modification here we type git add and then let's do the commit minus m and then let's say of r1 okay we have again here the branch and here we have the id the comment id and then let's check the history here we can see and you can see that this is here now i am it is made under from fr branch called fr1 not the master anymore this is the author and this is the comet id and this is the comet we will merge the two branches i mean master with uh, fr1 so to do this we need first to move back or to check out to the um, master branch and here we make sure from this uh, we, yes we are now under the master branch and then let's merge the two branches we type the command merge and the name of the branch okay so let's make sure that the file is now modified yes now i am the, this is the line and let's check under which branch I am now so I am under master one more time and then so everything is fine now we need we can simply delete the um, branch which is we called fr1 so to do this we can type git and then branch minus d to delete and then the name of the branch and then get the branch again so here we have only the master branch here okay this is all about part 5 and now let's move forward to part 6 which is about handling marriage conflicts so what actually is happening when there is a conflict here so we already talked that we would like to modif when we would like or we would like to start modification on the project or directory you create a new branch let's say here test and you start to modify the project then you do the git status add staging comment and so on and then you return back to the master and then you do the marriage between them but here in this case you like let's assume that you someone else or you or, or let's fix it like this someone else made a branch and then made the modification like normal and then finish the modification here and you came here and you also modify the original area under the master the mod i mean the project you modified under the, the the master branch and then when you would like to make the conflict or the marriage there will be a conflict because there is a modification and the original um, branch here so 
In this part, we are going to see this scenario and we are going also to learn how to deal or how to solve the conflict. So let's create a new branch and here, as you already know, we are typing it branch and then let's call the new branch um, is test. Let's check this. Yes, now we have this new branch and then we are under the master branch. Let's check out or move or switch to the test branch. Let's branch test check. Now I am under the test branch and now let's modify the file. But in this case, now we are not going to add a new line. We are going to change the file div asc.txt and we are going to use the command z and then we use this line to change the word Cisco with netcat. Okay, so let's check first the file. And you can see here this is um, a Cisco and now let's change it to be netcat. Remember, now we are under a branch. So let's do this here one more time. Okay, and let's check the file. As you can see here, we have NetAcad instead of Cisco. Okay, so now let's move to the form of Git, to the this um, the form we learned. So Git status. Okay, and then Git add. And then Git commit minus M. And then let's say that this is here like NetAcad. Replaced Cisco. So that's here we did the modification, we did the comment, and then let's see git log or first git status. I am on a branch test, everything is um, clean, and then git log, and here we can see the history under which um, command or under which uh, branch the modification has been done. Okay, so now if we return back here, we created a test and then we made the stages, committing and so on. And now let's move back here. Before we are doing the marriages, we are, I'm going to modify the file again here under the master and after that I will make the marriages and then you will see the conflict. Okay, so let's get checkout to the master and then get branch to make sure that I am under the master. So I'm here now and now I'm going to modify the file under the master um, branch. So here I will use div asc instead of Cisco. So before I do this, let's make sure that the file is the original file. So cut, you can see here is the Cisco because I did not do the marriage. So it's still Cisco, not netcad. And here, let's check, let's replace Cisco with div asc. Let's check the file again. And you can see here now, the Cisco is replaced with the ASC. Now, we need, of course, to do this, uh, the, the commands we learn. We make the status again. And then we need to do the staging by git add. And then we need to commit. 
I'm going to type now DVSC replaced Cisco. Okay, so git status one more time. Everything is clear, and then git log. Okay, so here we under the head we have we can see the comment and the history of this modification. Okay, so now I am going to make the marriage, and as you will see, there will be a conflict. So make sure I am under the before you do the marriage, you have to make sure that you are under the master branch. So git branch. I am under the master here, and now git marriage. And then the name of the branch, which is we call test. As you can see here, there is a conflict there, marriage conflict and div in this file. Okay, so we knew that the conflict uh, is in this file, and let's try of this conflict. First, let's check out what's happening. Okay, so let's check the file itself, the conflict, uh, the file in which we realize that there is a conf conflict, and you can see here we can find that here is or here are the conflicts. So we can solve this manually by type by editing this file and then this open this file with div and let's delete the conflicts and here we need to delete so we can go down and then pr press double D to delete the line here we also need to delete this one and here we need to delete this one and here we need let's delete like this one and now we can save as you can see colon W and the Q with the exclamation mark. And after that, let's check the file. As you can see now, it's okay. And, and then let's stage and comment the file. And then let's verify that. Uh, and then let's verify that the command um, or the modification get log, and we can see here conflict solved, and that's it. So here we don't need to use the command marriage get marriage because you uh, like um, manually did the marriage between. So here one more time, you don't need to type get marriage command because you already did this manually. Let's check the branches. And now let's delete the branch test. And then let's check that. Now you can see I am here now under the master branch. In part seven, we are going to integrate Git with GitHub. So now we are going to integrate the Git in your, from my machine to the one on the internet. So to do this, we need first to create a repository on the um, on the GitHub. So here we go to get, create a new, and then we type repository name. And let's take it from the tutorial. It's mentioned here. The repository. The name is div study team and the description working um, together to pass the div ASC exam and private and this category is under private form. So again the name is this one 
and as a description we need to use this one as we instructed from the tutorial and the select private and then we create a repository okay let's return back and then we need to create a directory called div asc study team so under this get intro so mkdir and the name of div asc study team let's check the directories there okay so then let's move to this directory and then let's, we need to copy this file and make it inside this directory so to do this we type cp dev to put it under this directory and I will refer by to this by mentioning the dot let's check now the file is there yes the file is there and then let's check the file so it's okay and now we need to initialize this directory let's check git config list so here I have the user the email and I already used uh, them from the beginning to match the credentials and the github so I don't need to change anything here anymore in step 8 we need to point the git repository from our machine to the github and to do to do so to do this we need to copy this um, URL from here and then we use the git command make sure one more time get log and here is the file to github so before um, I did this I already um, commit the file so let's add another file and let's say echo um, file to file to github again and let's put it in file to the text now ls so we can see here we have two files i already commented this but now i will comment this to github again so let's get status as you know we make our round again there is a file here git add file to and then git commit minus m another file as a comment to github and then get status one more time everything is clean git log i have another file to git okay so now we will need to upload this file to the github what we can do here we need as a connection between them we need to use the command push so here to upload the files from git master we need to use the command push of course origin and master so to the origin and then from the master so to do this as you can see here the command get push and then origin and then master you will be uh, asked for the username And password we 
okay it seems everything is fine and now let's verify that on the website so we just make a refresh here as you can see there are two files here that I already uploaded them to git um, from my git repository okay when you would like to work on a project you make a clone to another so if you are like you would like to use a project from another um, github or from another user you can use a clone and then get a clone and then you will have a copy of it and then you can work on it and if you have access you can directly upload here your uh, or contribute on the project through github so to wrap up we have the main commands so we have a git the main branch is master then you can use this round of commands you are working in your own directory you make a branch you modify and then you make merge if there will be a conflict make sure how to deal with this and then after you finish you can upload your work the final version to the github that's all for uh, in this video or in this lab thanks see you next video